Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at Bitcoin and the Bitcoin related stocks. Okay, so first up let's take a look at, at uh, Bitcoin itself. Uh, this is the one month chart. As you can see here, it started down here um, at, at 442 and now it's all the way up here hitting the, the high of six four, at 6,400. So, so you're, you're looking at, um, you know, a, a, a $2,000 uh, gain in the last month. So congrats everyone. This has just been uh, just firing on all cylinders. It doesn't look like it's slowing down. Um, consensus is 10,000 is, you know, more than 50% of the people polled right now are saying that 10,000 is going to be the next stop. So Bitcoin's on fire. The Bitcoin stocks have been uh, cool and they're just starting to heat up and I'll show you that in a second. I would definitely keep an eye on Ethereum Notice how it's not participating like Bitcoin. It doesn't have the really strong uptrend. E e Ethereum's going to be here to stay. Um, th th this could end up being the biggest big, biggest winner one day. Uh, you, you never know. Um, e Ethereum's going to be huge. You've got Russia now uh, getting in on on the game. Um, so so keep an eye on Ethereum and, and also keep an eye on Litecoin. Look how they've they've driven Litecoin down. So Litecoin now is is way down here at uh, 55. You know it was recently recently trading as high as 64, 60, uh, 67, almost 68. Um, yeah, so so yeah, keep an eye on Litecoin as well. Um, could could trace back to the previous highs. And uh, yeah, so let's take a look at GBTC. Okay, so th this was the big move we've been looking for. Closed up 14% today. So congrats everyone. That was the that was the monster move where everyone was looking for. Um, it, it's it's here uh, it, in the bull zone here uh, on RSI. It, it's below 70, so it still has room to run. Notice how on the previous run, it, it, it traded well above 70 on RSI, so that that signals that it shows that it has a history of being able to head higher at, at, at above overbought levels on RSI. And so, if you look here, there's a bullish crossover on ADX. The green line crossed the red line to the upside. So plus DI now is above minus DI. That's signaling the bulls are taking control. Now, what we had been looking for was a close above this green line. That's the 50-day simple moving average currently at 713. And you could see what support broke here back on the 10th. And the candles had been forming below that level since then until yesterday. And finally yesterday, there was the close above the 50-day simple moving average. That was the bull signal. And then look at the payoff today. Just this little close above that level on not much fanfare, we would be, you know, we were putting out alerts, but not you know, uh, uh, not many people were listening. But bam! Look at what happened today. Huge spike. You've got the big move, big bullish move. Um, it closed right up here at at, at the September sixth uh, resistance level. It's also the same resistance level from uh, the the uh, August 29th. And so it needs to break above that level. If it gets a close above that level, then it's it it could run back up to the nines, nine hundreds, which you have the uh, closing price here at nine twenty five um, on the the. 30th of August. So that 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 that's the upside potential if it breaks above this this uh, current um, 8 830 resistance zone. Um, it, it, as long as EMA4 supports holding down here at 752, the the uptrend is very strong. Notice how it was trading in a sideways channel for for the last nearly uh, two months here. So what you want to see now is the top of the channel, which is this red line here, currently around 750. You want to see that turn into support. If it can turn into support, that si should signal that it wants to. Break Breakout higher, we, you know the uh, the premium has been uh, you know reset here with GBTC, and now it's playing a little bit of catch up um, since since uh, Bitcoin has taken off so much and and uh, is up well above six thousand. So if you look down here at MACD, you've got the bullish crossovers on both time frames, and this is signaling the possible push, uh, the next push higher. That that bullish volume spike, you know, the largest volume day since back here in the second week of September, is another signal that there's more upside potential. It signals that players have jumped back into GBTC and they're, and they're, and they're starting to take it higher. So the 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 Bitcoin stocks, the penny stocks that we follow, um, you know, they've been under a lot of pressure. And today, GAC GAHC heated up. It closed up nearly ten percent. It is in the bull zone on RSI at fifty five. You've got our fast O down here with the bullish crossover. It needs to get above fifty. Notice how it keeps trying to break fifty, but it can't. If it can get above fifty and stay above that level, that'll be a symbol the chart is heating back up. You know, ADX is still strong. You've got the green line above the black and the red line, and, and 
so today, we, we, the bullish development happened that we were looking for uh, for GBTC that happened yesterday. What was the close above the green line, the 50-day simple moving average, currently at 0 0.018. That finally happened today. Okay, so note, look at how many times that level tried to break and, and, and it failed to close above it w after testing intraday. So finally today, after the, you know the last three weeks trying to break that level, it closed above. So now it needs to stay above that level. If it does, that's going to signal more upside potential. The next key level that breaks the 100-day simple moving average at 0 0.021. If it can get above that level, that'll be the signal it wants to head higher. Okay, so that's the big key level. It closed above the 100-day simple moving average is going to signal that it could break out higher. You know, you've got the high close up here at 0 0.037. So this has a lot of upside potential. It has been turning the middle Bollinger Band into support. Notice how it closed above that level back here um, in September. Okay, on the, uh, what is that, the... The um, the on the twelfth here, it closed above the middle Bollinger Band, above the two hundred day simple moving average. It's been holding both levels, and now it looks like it wants to try to push higher. It needs to stay above that fifty day simple moving average to be a good play with this setup. Okay, let's look at BTCS. It's been under a lot of pressure. Now it's at oversold levels on on Fasto. It's well below twenty. It needs to get it back above fifty on RSI. Um, so so what's going on here is it's been riding the the fifty day simple moving average lower. That's the green line. Notice how it's been the candles have been uh, failing to break that level. It's currently at 14 cents. If it can close above that level and the middle Bollinger Band at 14 cents as well, th then it could start pushing higher. The upper Bollinger Band will be the, uh, the 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 key resistance level to break above. If it can get if it can get a close above the middle Bollinger Band, notice how that's lined up with high close resistance, and so that's going to be um, a, a key level to break as well. Um, so so 18 is the big resistance level. If it can get above 14, 18 will be the big level and then if it can close above 18 that'll be a signal that wants to break out higher uh, to the downside you've got big support with the 300 200 and 100 day simple moving average lined up between 10 and 12 cents so keep an eye on btcs okay check out btsc okay so this closed above 50 on on rsi so that was a signal the charts heating up it needs to stay above 50 it also closed above 50 on fasto um you know you still have uh, you know you have the bulls in control on on adx and and so this has been uh, trying to turn the middle Bollinger Band in, into support. That's the dotted purple line currently at 0 0.062. Notice how it closed above that level in, in October when, when they all it, you know, heated up at the same time. And, and then it closed back above again. And, it, it, and it's just been working on it for the last basically three weeks trying to turn that level into support. It looks like it, 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 it's, it's, it was trying to start a new uptrend here. You've got EMA4 crossing over EMA8. All the moving averages are converged here and it's forming candles above. So the big levels to break here on this chart are the, are the green and gold line. If they can get above the 100-day simple moving average at 0 0.076, that'll be a signal it wants to break out higher. So keep an eye on BTSC. And then MGTI has been under a lot of pressure. Okay, RSI, Fasto are not looking good. They're both below 50. They need to get above that level. It did bounce last week, so it had the nice bounce and then the close above EMA4. You know, that was signaling that it was heating up, and then it came back down, and, and today it's it's flirting with uh, dropping back below EMA4. It needs to hold that level. Notice how the pink line was getting ready to cross the line line, but it, but it took another pause today. So, the, you know, the bears are still strong with this one. It needs to hold EMA4 and then get above the, the middle bullet at 227. Once it gets above the green line here at 252, then it's off to the races again. You know, similar to back here where, where it was trading above all the moving averages and heading higher. Uh, it came down. It bounced off the 100-day simple moving average at 190. That's crucial. It needs to hold that level. If it drops below the 100-day simple moving average at 190, that's signaling downside risk, and you could see the 200 and 300-day simple moving averages tested. So keep an eye on it. Um, notice that that MACD down here in the 813.5 had a bullish crossover that was signaling the chart was heating up. It's pinched on the 1226 and 9. It needs to have a crossover. Check out the green dots. They're down at 239 um, setting up for a bull flip. And then one more to take a look at is BITCF. Uh, this is trading on the grays now. I don't even think it has quotes. Um, you know, it's a total uh, piece of junk. Um, it, it's trading super tight right now with these uh, this sideways channel. Um, you, you never know. They could, they could try to run it one day. Keep an eye on it. It's currently at 52 cents with super tight 
Bollinger Bands. Uh, there could be a lot of people still holding. I mean, it had some enormous volume back here in August, so it could get going again if everything else is running. So yeah, just keep an eye on it. If it gets above uh, th this 50-day uh, 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 simple moving average at 87, it could get running again. Okay, thank you very much for viewing this video. If you'd like to learn more about charts and technical analysis, please check us out at mychartcoach.com and our YouTube channel at mychartcoach.com. Thank you.